Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila. I'm here to do a mini love forecast for the Leo. Um, this is going to be for April the 25th uh, starting and then ending on May the 1st. Um, we're just going to do a quick five card reading. I'm going to try to make these 15 minutes or less. So for you Leos, let's see what's going on for next week. And... We're going to look at what's going on currently, which is present in your love life. And then we'll look at the past as well. Um, and then we'll see the future. In your future, your two future cards will be what you can look forward to next week. What's going to be the theme of next week? By the way, I've got a 3,000 subscriber giveaway coming up, so make sure to subscribe so that you can enter into the contest that I'm having. Okay, and there's going to be a big Zodiac winner, so it's going to be one of the Zodiac signs. One of the 12 is going to win a prize. All right. Okay, so I'm done shuffling, and sorry for the voiceover. Um, I didn't feel like doing the setup, and... Yeah, so let's go ahead. And oh, this is so wonderful. I'm already seeing some really good stuff for you, uh, Leos, and then as well as you Leo Risings, okay? Because the star card came up. So this is currently what's going on with you, Leo. You are feeling on top of the world, okay? When the star card comes up, you are in, you're inspirational. You're inspiring people. You are inspiring people to love you. You are getting a lot of attention. People are literally throwing rose petals at your feet. And you love that. And I know that because I'm a Leo rising. But I'm, I'm not going to, like, be biased about this reading. I'm You know, I read them the way that the cards lay out. So, um, focusing on the star. This is a major arcana card. So, this means that you have got some really... Uh, good stuff coming up or just currently right now. The energies around you are so amazing. You're very calm and serene right now. And you are actually, this is a destiny card. So this is about renewal. Um, there is like, you've been through some sort of darkness and now there's this star or like the sun illuminating your future and your past. And it's all relevant to you. Um, but just make sure that you consider balance and restraint when finding solutions to your current problems. So this is a reminder. Don't let that lion come out of you too much because right now your energy is way too harmonious. The right amount of help and encouragement will bring harmony and happiness to your circles. So if you've got people that are bothering you, you know, you're a lion and you don't like people to bother you, especially when you're doing something and you're taking care of your family or your your husband or your wife and it's like when you disturb a lion they will roar um but you just want to keep your energy light because that's what's working for you now in the past you got the eight of cups so this is you avoiding a situation you in the past you walked away from a situation that did not suit you there was way too many emotions in these seven cups That really had nothing to do with you. You had your own cup to worry about. <laughs> you know. And I do see this as a possible separation in the past from your loved one. From your husband or wife or a significant other. Now what's crossing you in the past is the chariot. So this is another major arcana. So this is the energy that... This is the energy of determination. So that situation was balanced but it was way too many heavy emotions and it was either you or your partner that was running especially if it's a twin flame union one of you guys were running and then the chariot comes in and he puts this energy of determination so this is what's crossing you in the past 
So I can see the energies is almost kind of like Cupid. You know, it was like a, a destiny for you and this person to remain together. Um, now, if you are single, um, some of you left a relationship. Okay. Now, some of you left a relationship and this person was not ready for you to leave. And this person decided that they wanted to have you back. Um, because some of you Leos might throw people away too fast. It's rare for a Leo to do that though. Because Leos will fight with you. Okay? And then the other person will be like, oh, I'm ready to leave. And the Leo's like, we just had a normal argument. You don't have to leave. Let's hug and kiss and make up. That's how Leos are. And we get a bad rap. Leos get a bad rap. I'm not a Leo. I'm a Leo rising. But Leos do get a bad rap because they are very strong individuals. And um, they will uh, be honest with their emotions and their feelings. And they are very, very, uh, these are some of the most amazing people that you'll ever meet. Um, they, they give people tough love, too. But, you know, the chariot is, is showing you using your energy towards one goal in the past. Okay, so this is a lot of energy in the chariot. Um, this is why he's depicted as being on a wheel. And there's five dots in, in the outer wheel. And then there's one, two, three, four. I'm sorry, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight dots in the inner wheel. So this is the balance so there's conflict on the outside and then on the inside there's you and your partner and indicating these eight dots and then there's one dot in the center and this is um the goal that you and that person have attained it's a lot of different symbols in this i mean also um there's also two chimneys coming out of both of the tops of the head of the chariot um, there's definitely energy coming out of, of them, but the energy is coming from these two pillars on the side. So this is the balance. And then this is him facing forward. And then there's one. So this is a very... This card is about a relationship that works in every aspect. These, this is a couple that is determined to stay together no matter what. And it's a balanced feeling. And all of the conflict is on the outside of their bubble. And if you look closely, there's a pink ring um, if you go look at the deviant moon chair of the chariot, there's a pink ring. So this is like a bubble love. Okay. There's a lot, a lot of people don't know how important the chariot card is in a love reading. And so whenever I get it, I see a very solid relationship that brought up a lot of emotions that, you know, just made you want to cry. Because sometimes love can hurt so much, it will make you cry. Now, in the future, Leo, you got the two of coins. So this is a really beautiful card to get in the future, Leo. Um, the two of coins is a illustration of a belly dancer. Um, <clears throat> the belly dancer performs under the light of a crescent moon, balancing two silvery pentacles against the sky. Although her moves seem effortless, they come with great practice and concentration. So even though it looks like she's not doing anything, like it takes a lot to do that. So this is a relationship that works and is balanced and it looks effortless. But it's but underneath what lies beneath is the hard work that comes into it. And what it means is balance and harmony with effort. And anybody in a relationship will tell you okay relationships marriage is not easy and a lot of people think it's supposed to be um a certain type of way and those ideals need to be let go of and very quickly 
Um, you want to know about love? Go look at some fairy tales. That's how you're going to find out about love. All of these, you know, some of, some of the stuff I like, but some of it I don't. But if you want to teach your kids happiness in life, make, let them watch fairy tales. Because the fairy tales have all the answers. <laughs> um, anyway, but... <laughs> there's a lot also about the chariot. This is someone tempting to go too far too fast. <clears throat> so someone may have felt pressured in the relationship, Leo. It's another thing for that. But let's move on to the two of pentacles. This is balancing and harmony with effort. And this is so wonderful. So what's crossing you in the future is the knight of cups. This is a literal person. So, I mean, it jives so well in the past with the eight of cups. You know, um... There's going to be a step up. So the Eight of Cups is where you were. This was working at dealing with the emotions. Eight, the Eight is like work. <clears throat> the Eight is balanced and this is uh, progress and work. So Eight is not a bad card. For it to advance to the night shows that there's going to be some, um, some emotional growth. Okay, in the future for you, Leo. So this is going to be either for you, Leo, or your partner. So whoever you're dealing with. And that's really all I can see in this reading. So the theme for the next week for you, Leo, is determination. Is determine, determination and balancing. Balancing, I'm sorry. Harmony through effort. Peace and harmony with effort. Hope, peace, and harmony through effort. Because you got a lot with this reading. But for the upcoming week, it's about balance and harmony with effort. Okay? If you want a personalized reading, link to my website is in the video description box. Make sure you subscribe if you want to enter my 3,000 subscriber giveaway. I think I'm about 400 away. So as soon as I get those... Um, 400 subscribers, then I'm going to do the contest and there will be a contest of the Zodiac sign. So I'm going to think of something really fun for you guys to enter in. And um, so I just, it's just as a little fun way of saying thank you for subscribing and thumbs up this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.